Investigations by the commission indicate that Natalie Johnson, a World Bank official, was very instrumental in coordinating activities between World Bank and Uganda Wildlife Authority at the time of implementing the five-year Pamusu project, which was intended to renovate game parks and improve Uganda's heritage. However, activities designed to achieve this were never implemented, although funds were being withdrawn by Natalie and other OO officials in addition to reports compiled indicating the smooth running of the project. The World Bank, which lent us the money, and whose officers were also part of the, shall we say, consultants and supervisors of the project, has requested that they want to meet us. They want to meet the commission in our work. But as I tell you, come Friday, we are preparing to go up country. So we have informed them that this exercise, we have given them to choose a date in September or October. While addressing the media at our offices today, Kanye Hamba said that although his probe team is doing a tremendous job of bringing to book corrupt officials, they have not received their allowances for the last two months. As I speak now, for the last two months, we have not been paid for June and July. The money which is supposed to come and facilitate the commission has not come. Meanwhile, the commission has requested for an extension of three more months given the fact that the term of the commission expired last month, but investigations had not been concluded due to delays caused majorly by witnesses. We have heard that they want us to finish by the end of this month, which of course is very ridiculous. There is no way, even if we are empowered by divine majesty, we can finish our work at the end of this month. Even if we had finished all the interviews and visiting these areas. The commission which has so far received 60 witnesses will be closing its first phase of the probe tomorrow. It is then expected to resume with a fact-finding mission in the 22 areas where the Pamusu project was meant to be implemented to justify whether there was value for money. These include 10 national parks and 12 game reserves. For NBS News, I'm Grace Navidika.